In this lesson, we are going to demonstrate the first step in assigning resources to a project. This step involves creating a resource pool from which to draw resources from. To do this, we have to go up to View and choose Resource Sheet. This provides us with a spreadsheet for identifying resources and information like pay rate associated with those resources. We're going to keep things simple and say we have two kinds of resources, design engineers and software engineers. One of the things you're going to have to understand is that Microsoft views resources in terms of percentages. 100% is the default. Well, what does that mean? It means that one design engineer is able to devote 100% of his or her time to the project. Now, if we had three design engineers, then we would simply put in 300%. If, for example, someone can only work part-time or half-time, we might put in 150%. That means we have one full-time and one half-time engineer. If it's quarter-time, you use 25%. Now, Another important thing to remember is that when we say we have three design engineers, we are also saying they are interchangeable. We're not making any distinction in terms of experience or ability. All three are capable of doing the same work and can perform the same tasks. In reality, you may want to distinguish more precisely similar resources. In this case, you might choose to use names like Sam and Sue. And you might say that in the case of Sam and Sue, they're both design engineers, and you would designate that by their group, uh, not by the resource name. And you can might say, in this case, Mary's the one that's only available half time. So that's a more precise way of uh, creating your resource pool.